So as you might know, artificial intelligence generated content is the new kid on the block when it comes to tools to make our lives easier or take away your jobs. And for today's video, I decided to make a game using only artificial intelligence. And because the artificial intelligence is around 125,000 times faster than a human brain, I am making this game in one hour, compared to the 15 years of Duke Nukem. Uh, no, what am I doing? Some ground rules is that everything needs to be made by artificial intelligence. I don't have any power here, unless when it comes to using Photoshop just to crop the background if needed. Let's begin. One hour. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. So I begin by asking ChatGPT. What's up, ChatGPT? Can you give me a video game idea for an ultra casual game that can be made in one hour? And this is where the magic of ChatGPT begins. And I was happy with the results. And as you can see, it's very well detailed. But I wanted more options. So I was like, hey, what's up, ChatGPT? How you. Yada, yada, yada. You know how it works. By itself, it's very simple. You put a prompt here, the AI reads your prompt, and then gives you a result. It's somewhat of an optimized new version of Google, but with AI. And now we have 10 different ideas that we can make under one hour thanks to ChatGPT. And I ask him to choose one randomly from that list Blockbreaker. Blockbreaker, aka Breakout, it's a very classic arcade game where the player must use the paddle to hit a ball and break blocks. You know, the good old days when we used to play on our Nokia. <sighs> and with that, we can start making the Unity game project. So, so far we have like f four minutes out of this one hour stuff. And I even ask him to name the game. Okay. Something else that I ask ChatGPT, because I don't have any power here, in what dimension should we do the game? As you know, we have 2D and 3D. ChatGPT thankfully decided to do the game on 2D. Also, something cool is that ChatGPT gave me an entire lore behind this game. And it goes something like this. In a faraway land, an evil wizard has taken over and trapped the citizens inside blocks of brick and stone. A brave hero has taken it upon themselves to break through the blocks and save the people. Armed with a powerful paddle and a relentless ball. But anyway, after four more minutes of the challenge and asking about the visual description of the hero of the story and the gameplay behind the game, I went directly to Discord to ask our pal Mid Journey for some art. The issue is that Mid Journey is not free, they give you some test images that you can make. These are in total 25, but I might have wasted my first tests. So the way Mid Journey works is kind of the same as ChatGPT. You give a prompt and you try to give the best description possible of what you want. And Mid Journey will process these images kind of fast, but let's say it takes around one minute. So in the context of the hero, ChatGPT give me this description. The hero is a daring adventurer with a determined look on their face. They wear a classic adventurer's outfit, complete with boots, gloves, and a bandana. They wield a paddle that doubles as a weapon, using it to smash through the blocks and defeat the evil wizard's minions. So what I would do is to take some bits and parts of what ChatGPT gave me and tell Mid Journey to give me a 2D pixel art version of these descriptions. So while Mid Journey is processing the image of the hero, I decided to go directly to ChatGPT again to ask him for some C sharp scripts for the game. Something interesting about ChatGPT is that he can actually give you code. And here is where I notice that I might lose my job. A machine can literally do a code that it will take me approximately 5 minutes but in a matter of seconds. But anyhow, I just took the code, put it inside a new c -sharp script inside Unity, connect the respective game objects, and as you can see, it works. And we can come back to Mid Journey and check if the main hero is ready. But then I noticed something. The main hero needs a paddle. So there you see me redoing the same again. And then I just asked the description of how the enemy would look to ChatGPT. Came back to Mid Journey, bada bing bada boom. We have both the hero, the enemy, the blocks where the human citizens are trapped, and as well I just created an environment. 
Take all these images into Photoshop to crop the background, put it inside Unity, and this game is looking pretty nice. And I just check if the time is... Ah, uh, probably the time is doing... Whoa, shit! Okay, we have less time. So, we need to hurry up. So instead of making more and more code, I instead decided to make the music. I just went directly to Ava. It's a tool to make AI generated music. So I just ask, what music type of music should this game have? He gave me different options and I ask him again to choose which one. He chose chiptune. So I just search in Ava the chiptune style. And with that, we can generate different versions of a song. As you can see, I am generating three optional songs. So from all the options that Ava did, I went for this one. It has a mysterious and dark feeling to it, and it makes sense with the art. Now, it's a good time to notice that we don't have a ball yet. So really fast, I did a ball with Mid Journey. Now, it's a good time to start making more C Sharp script and hopefully finishing the game. So, so far, the only code that we have is the code that handles all the spawning of the boxes. So, the first script that I asked ChatGPT to do after that is a code that manages the spawning of the ball in the beginning of the game. Another code that is going to be inside the ball and handles all the reflections and bouncing of this ball, a script that manages the screen bounce aka if your ball leaves the screen this one gets spawned again and after connecting all these scripts out of nowhere ChatGPT told me this and this is becoming a bit more common because the tool is being used a lot more often nowadays but yeah we might not finish this game Thankfully, after one more minute, the tool started working again. And I asked ChatGPT to give me really quick a code that is going to be inside the blocks. And this one handles that every time they get collided by a ball, these ones get destroyed. And really quick, I asked him to give me the code that is going to be inside the battle and handles all the movement from the right and left. Connect the last scripts inside the Unity game project and change the values, test, and here you have it, Brick Smasher.